Okay, so here is my new and improved solar box. So you have a 100 watt panel uh, from Winnie Nation. You have a rigid uh, rolling toolbox. This is what it looks like on the outside. So you see that what I've done is I've got a, a kill switch in here so I can turn this off and then no power goes in, no power comes out or anything uh, through the charge controller. And I'll show you the insides of this in a minute. Uh, down here we have a meter and yes Josh I got it fixed. Uh, uh, this is a separate on off uh, switch down here that goes to power uh, another box that I have inside there. I'll show you that in a minute as well. Here you have the, the um, positive and negative lines that go out to the panel. And on the side here, you'll see that I have a push button thing. This is actually what is powered by that one uh, throw switch in the front with the red light. It powers this, and inside here I have push buttons that go to another uh, box so I can turn power to each individual uh, 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 add-on that I've got in there as I put stuff in. So on the back side, of course you see, you know, it's back of the panel, uh, it's got the wheels on it, and so let's take a look at this thing now. We'll go on ahead and uh, open this up so you can see what is inside. The nice thing about this is the whole thing essentially is self-contained. So uh, you don't have, once you get this thing wired up, turned on, you don't have to open this up really to do much. Inside you have a, a, a power inverter 1500 continuous 3000 watt surge. Um, out of this you can power uh, two 110s, a couple of USBs. Uh, inside here you have uh, the charge controller and you see how the wires go in here. This throw switch is, uh, I've got it set, one goes to the batteries and this other one goes to this. Like I said, that way you're not running stuff in and out because these charge controllers still take electricity even uh, uh, when they're not turned on, or I'm sorry, even if you're not actually powering stuff unless you kill the power to the battery, it'll draw out of there to run the meter. So inside here I've got this. This is what that tape and little push buttons on the outside go to. So this little button down here, when I turn that on, you can see it. When I turn that on, you notice there's no power to, to this. So I've got, the only thing that I've got in here right now is uh, this one cigarette plug and a couple USBs. But I can reach down here without having to open the box. And if I press the um, button, you can see then that it powers up press a button and it turns off so again you can control which of these ends up being hot and it's got room for three more things to be added on. Inside here I have four and it's kind of hard to tell with the glare but there are four uh, uh, solar batteries uh, 35 amp batteries four of them 12 volts that I bought at Harbor Freight and uh, so that's pretty much the whole setup. Again, like I said, nice thing is it's all self-contained. Um, I've got 20 feet of line, so I can either have it if you know I'm using it in, in one place, I can have it just sitting on top like it was when, when I first started the video, or if need be, I can run this 20 feet away. If I'm you know using the box in a shady area, I can run that out 20 feet. Uh, to get uh, you know more uh, more direct sunlight, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to put a hinge uh, hinge thing on here so I can have it to where it stands up and it's adjustable so I can kind of direction it towards the sun. But uh, so that's that's it. Um, I think it turned out pretty good for my my first uh, kind of attempt at something a little bigger and badder. Uh, again, everything seems to be working. I'm pretty pleased with it. It took me a while to get this put together. Uh, it's uh, Lexan uh, you know, plastic there. I wanted it that way so I could see through there just in case there were any corrosion issues or if I you know, saw any uh, overheating wires, anything like that. I mean, not that I expect to have any of those problems, but that's still kind of nice and a little kind of a cool factor thing too. Uh, so I hope this is something that uh, that you get something out of and uh, yeah let me know if you have any questions